path breaking kind of uh, memory. Now, what do you have to say about you know that relationship that you shared with her? Like, unlike Sham, you know, you Ketan and Smita, like they say, are contemporaries and friends. I mean, what do you have to say for that statement? Well, it is true. We are contemporaries and were uh, very close friends. Uh, I met her for the first time when she had come to the film institute uh, to do a diploma for me. And ever since then, uh, we hit it off extremely well together. And therefore, when I started my first film called Bhavni Bhavai, I approached her to do the film. And though she had already started doing quite a few films in Bombay, uh, she immediately jumped at it. Being a Gujarati film, being an extremely low budget film, uh, did not matter. And uh, that was a film where we were all staying together in one big commune, uh, eating together, working round the clock, uh, and working under conditions which would be called uh, unfriendly. <laughs> you know? But still, we all pulled it off, and it, it was an extremely uh, overwhelmingly intense experience. Uh, and uh, very fond memories of What is it that prompted you to take Smita for your very first project? One, she had an extremely spontaneous uh, camera presence. I mean, she was one of the most spontaneous actresses that I have come across. Uh, secondly, she had a very earthy presence. Uh, and this entire film was about the people from the earth, the wretched of the earth. And therefore, she was just a perfect cast uh, for, the, for the film. And I think she was a brilliant actress. Now, your films are often constructed with predefined stylistic frameworks. And you used Smith at least in Mish Masala as an elogy for a, a social rebellion against oppression. Mm -hmm. Do you think she came good? I think she came out brilliantly. I think it is one of her best performances. Uh, and it is certainly one of my best films. What do you have to say about you know, your predefined stylistic frameworks? I think there has been uh, much said about it. It is not as predefined as it uh, is made out to be. Uh, it is true that I do get excited about cinema uh, cinematic uh, innovation or exploration. It is true that there would be a greater amount of focus on the detailing, cinematic detailing, in terms of working out the basic uh, requirements of each of the facets of cinema. Yes, I'm being a trained uh, filmmaker. There would be greater attention to all these details that would be paid. But to call it an a, a st a extremely structured, uh, moribund kind of a filmmaking would be totally wrong because I improvise a lot. Uh, the film grows as I grow with the film. Now, this uh, role that Smita played in Mish Masala, she is a person who's a uh, rebellious person, who's uh, rebelling against oppression. Uh, what do you feel about that character and having Smita having done that? Uh, well, even in real life, it, uh, to call it rebellious would be, uh, I think, an overstatement. It is a, a character who is self-righteous, who is uh, strong-willed, and who is uh, free. And in the real sense of the term, Smita in real life as well uh, embodied all these characteristics. And therefore, I think it was a perfect representation of the women of India today. Was it easy for you to get the real life Smita on screen? I mean, the Smita as you know. It is not real life Smita as you see. Uh, it is a, a, a character that is being projected and she somehow managed, managed to uh, very, very, uh, with a certain amount of ease to merge with the characters so that the distinctions just did not matter anymore. Now, can you elaborate a little on the last sequence of the film? Well, the last sequence of the film where uh, the feudal lord breaks into the chili factory to capture the woman and all the women empathizing with the tragedy of Smita.